Hi, in this video we're going to look at creating calculated items uh, within a pivot table and in particular looking at how being able to control the solve order of calculated items uh, can be uh, very useful. So this is my scenario. I've got a database of sales across different branches. The branches are categorized by region and um, products are categorized by product category and the report I need to create this is what I've been asked to create is to show percentage of total sales that bakeware and cookware products represent uh, of the total sales in England Ireland Scotland and Wales now England is currently split up into various different regions South Midlands and uh, North etc so we are going to have to do some calculated items to add those together um, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland are separate regions already, so that's not going to be a problem. But we are obviously going to have to also add up cookware and bakeware products, credit total for that, and then compare it to the total sales across all other product categories. So let's see how this works. We're going to click into the database. I'm going to go to insert pivot table and I'm going to place the pivot table on this existing sheet let's start it about there so click on OK so what I'm going to have down the side are my um, different uh, regions no I'm not I'm going to have my different product categories down the side so I've got bakeware cookware cutlery and drinks and I'm also going to tick revenue which gives me revenue calculations for each of those individual product categories. I'm going to do a little bit of formatting on the sum of revenue. I'm going to right click, go to number format, and I'm going to select the currency format with no decimal places. Okay, so at this stage, what I need to do is combine these two categories and then divide it by the total sales, so across all categories to get some sort of percentage calculation, percentage of total sales that bakeware and cookware represent. So I can create a calculated item to do that. So I have to click into the field where I want to create the calculated item. And then I go up to my Analyze tab on my ribbon, Field Items and Sets, and I'm going to create a calculated item. So the calculated item is basically, let's call it a percentage sales we know what that means and our formula is going to be well I need to add up bakeware and cookware so I'll put that in brackets so that does that bit first divided by and then I need to put the rest of the addition in brackets bakeware plus cookware plus cutlery plus drinks close the bracket and click on add click on ok so that gives me percentage of sales I need to convert that to percentages I'll just use the normal percentage button for that otherwise it'll end up um, if I used right click number format and chose percentage unfortunately it converts all of them to percentages so I have to in this instance just convert the cell and there we are 54 percent Okay, so that's for all sales across all regions, but I now need to add the region field to the columns area. And the problem we have here is that we actually need to combine all the English regions into one region. So we're going to do another calculated item for that. So I, again, I click up into a column heading for the item I want to create calculated item I want to create and I'm going to go to field items and sets calculated item so let's just call this England and what we'll do is we'll insert all the English regions Midlands North South and Southwest 
Okay, click on add, click on OK. So what I can do now is actually hide those English regions. Click on OK, so I've now got Scotland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales and England. Now, the problem we have here is that you can see this result here. If I click on it, it's actually adding up Midlands, North, South and Southwest, which is what that calculated item does. But really, this calculation shouldn't be adding up those individual English regions. What it wants to do is do this percentage sales calculation. Now, because the English region calculated item was performed last, it actually applies that to that cell there, even though I'm in this percentage sales row. But we can change the solve order. Fairly easy to do. What I'm going to do, I've got that cell selected. I'll go up to field items and sets, and I'm going to go to solve order. And you can see the two calculated items that I've created. This one was the last one that I created, so it's being applied in this instance. What I need to do is move this first calculated item down, so it becomes the last calculated item in the list. And then if I click on OK, OK, it changes the calculation that's being performed here. So now, if I select any of these cells along the bottom here, you can see it's performing that percentage calculation that we applied first. OK, hopefully that's useful, looking at calculated items and pivot tables and also just manipulating the solve order via this option here. OK, thanks very much for listening.